Hey folks, I'm Mike, and this is not a hype train. I have a confession to make. I am into bats. Now, that's kind of a weird thing for me to admit. It probably stems from the fact that I have traveled extensively for the past five to six years. In that time, I have learned that it is super important to pack efficiently, to be able to pack as much as you can into as small a space as possible so that, you know, for things like being able to fit into tight overhead bins um, or, you know, just carrying something on, you know, public transportation, um, that you are okay. And so here recently I've started thinking I need a better FPV bag uh, than what I had been using. And so I started looking online, looking at all, all the reviews, and, and really the interesting thing is that the FPV bag scene is growing out of the camera bag scene. And lo and behold, I'm walking through Best Buy the other day, I was going to get a new GoPro, and sure enough, I go check out the camera bags, and there on the shelf, on clearance, is like a $60, $75 bag, maybe more than that, on clearance for about 50 bucks, and it was the Low Pro Tahoe BP150. And I thought, why don't I pick this thing up, try it out, I'll at least get a feel for whether or not I like having this style of bag. And I wanna show you guys what I found. Okay, so the bag that I got on clearance from Best Buy was the Low Pro Tahoe BP150. Now, you can see right here, um, not ideal, but first thing you find is that you can actually side mount a quad. So I could technically put two quads on here, um, one on each side. Uh, I've also started looking at, you know, how could I mod this thing? And it'd be easy to strap a zip tie and then some of those little curly Q things on here so that you could effectively uh, back mount your quad, right? So then it would, it hang right about here, and it, that's a that's a pretty good place for it to go. Um, the bag itself is relatively compact. I mean, if I'm going to put my quad on top here, uh, that's a five inch MQC Fusion. Um, let me face it at you and move it back in just a little bit. Um, this is not a big bag. Okay, so that's the thing to keep in mind. This is not a big bag. This is not meant to carry crazy amounts of gear. But what it is meant to carry is, you know, a camera. I've adapted it so that you can also carry all of your FPV equipment. Opening it up, um, it is a clamshell, which is great. So you just zip these zippers all the way down to the side. And boom. All your gear is laid out like that. Um, so just so you can see, I've got my goggles in here, which is technically where the camera is supposed to go. Um, it's got a little zippered pouch, which is nice. You can kind of slide your goggles in there. They won't go in um, with uh, the antennas on. Um, at least mine won't. I've got the LaForge set up, but I'm able to get both antennas and the Team Black Sheep Fat, Fat Shark uh, vape battery pack in there. Um, and this just kind of slides right in pretty easily. Um, you zip that up, your goggles are nice and safe. I've got my controller over here. Uh, this is my Tyrannus. Um, it is a huge controller, it is not the smallest, that's for sure. Um, and it fits pretty well in this section of the bag right here. Um, I've got packs of props right here. Uh, now this spot right here I've actually adapted, um, I can actually carry uh, if I'm going to go out with my Phantom, I can carry my extra Phantom batteries and what I end up doing is strapping my Phantom controller to the side and put my FPV quad on the other side. Um, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven batteries laid out like this and I could actually get more batteries in there if I wanted to. Um, so that's the inside. We've got goggles, we've got batteries, we've got controller, and we've got props. The only thing we're missing uh, is a set of tools. And that's where this little bat, this little section comes in. So this is not clamshell. But what I've done is I've taken all my tools, and this just happened to. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong thing. 
This just happened to fit. Um, this is a scuba uh, cable organizer pack um, that I use to store all my tools. And so once I open that up, I've got uh, I've got you know my Allen wrenches in here. I've got some pliers. I got a voltage checker. I've got a prop tool. I've got some tweezers. I've got random odds and ends. I've got an extra VTX right here. Um, I've got what do I have in here? Uh, I have some uh, lock nuts, um, some uh, some bolts. I got extra antennas. Um, I carry this in case I want to download some footage from my, um, one of my SD cards. I've actually got a massive set of snips. I can probably downsize that. I got some tape, some extra straps. That is pretty much what I need for a light day of flying. There's plenty of space in this little pack and it slides right into this right here. Now here's what really astonished me. Not only could I get this pack in there, but I also got my MacBook in there. Now, this is not gonna take, I already tried it. Um, this is not, this is not going to take, or not easily, uh, no. It's not gonna take a 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's just too, the, 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 the bag is too small. Um, but it does take the MacBook, which is really nice. You know, it, you've also got extra organizing space in here if you want to throw things around. Um, one little nice touch, I don't know if you can see it, is that there's actually a spot right here where you can store SD cards, which apparently only 32 gigabyte. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty funny. Um, and then you've got one more zipper bag right here. Really not usable once you get it completely packed out. Um, but that is it. So to wrap it up, that is a great hit it and quit it pack. It is completely serviceable. It will carry enough for some light flying, four or five spots, uh, anywhere from seven to I'd say upwards of 12 packs. Um, it's got everything you need, including some light repair tools, and you can carry it with you on your back through a lot of circumstances. It's small, it doesn't stick out, it's not obtrusive. One thing I didn't mention is that it's a super well-organized pack. Uh, those dividers that you saw in there are actually secured in by Velcro, so you can move those around. And there were actually three dividers that I haven't even used because there's really no need for me to have them in there. Uh, so you can actually configure it to hold and do more than what I've just done. So if you have a smaller controller, like say uh, one of the Turnigy Evolutions, then you're going to be able to pack more batteries in there and you can put more dividers in to kind of keep things neat. So I'm Mike, I hope you enjoyed the review. Go ahead and like, subscribe, do all those wonderful things and I'll talk to you later.